Hello everybody and welcome to episode 35 of Foolcraft. In the last episode we set up ore processing and I have worked on that a little bit. Where can I, why can I not see it? Da, da, there it is, ha. Uh, I set up this. It is uh, processing ores with fortune. I have a destructor on the bottom with fortune 3 upgrades and a constructor at the top. And the ores that continue processing uh, like these ones that I still have a bunch of have speed upgrades in so they finish up fast and I believe after they're done we can have them on uh, on just normal like the way I have for diamond ore because you don't get that much ore I can just have it without speed upgrades and in between episodes I just upgraded my flux capacitor to resonant and I enchanted it with holding so now it can hold 75 million RF and if I remember there was a comment on the 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 thingy this guy Wireless charging enabled. Transfer settings have been removed. There will be different settings soon. Connections will now be sorted by largest priority. So can configure armor inventory, bottles inventory. Left hand false, right hand true. I presume that's it. Configure wireless charging and now it should charge right away. Everything. And I wouldn't even need this flux capacitor, but we can still, I mean, I can still have it on me if need be, but I'll, I'll put it in my bag for now and we'll see later. And the whole crashing that happened was due to the repellent armor from Ender.io, which I don't know who, like, how was that a good idea? How is that, like, teleporting things away is, I know it's Ender.io and it's supposed to be teleporting and all that, but, you know, it's it's kind of annoying. Uh, let me turn on night vision so you can actually see stuff. But for the wither skeletons, we can set up, um, um, set up, whatchamacallit, the mob crusher again, or the, oh. The, the, the mob masher again. And I have also uh, done some conduit things over here. And if I grab my Yetto wrench over here, you can see I have conduits all around here and it's all facaded and we can turn things on and off now uh, really easily. And what I wanna set up as well is to have these on um, refined storage, on the refined storage detector network. And I can set up the detectors up top I don't have to run a cable down here and then I can have just wireless receivers uh, in here to basically detect when I want uh, a certain amount of wither skeleton skulls it's going to turn on and when I want a certain amount of ender pearls it's going to turn on. So for the wither skeletons though we need to set up the mob fans again so I need to go grab those and then set up the mob crusher and we get the, basically the same system again. I have crafted all the things that we are required to upgrade the jetpack to the next tier, which is really simple. It's just resonant thrusters, which is just a bunch of crafting with the components that I already have. So we can do that now. And I've also made this enderium plating, which we can put on the jetpack like so. And now we're fully purpled out. No, that's how is that purple? How did my brain go to purple? It's like deep blue green, dark prismarine thingy. But this is super fast now. Oh, bit of a lag. Um, it's really neat. Okay, I also made some more energy conduits, which we can uh, then replace with these. Uh, we actually don't need them here because this doesn't require direct power anymore. So we can just take these out on this side, like so. And we only need them by the machines, like even temporarily here. But, you know, we're just going to do like so. And that's the really neat feature from Ender.io that you can just right click an o an conduit to upgrade it basically, which is really cool. And I think it should connect automatically. It might not. So we can do, we can just do, I think there is a debug and then you do this and it reconnects everything. Well, we'll see if it, if it's connected, but you know, it should be fine. We can do that. That is not where I wanted that conduit to go. We're going to take that out in a bit like so, and all the way around to this side as well. And we don't need that. Nice, okay. Let's take out the other conduit that I wanted to take out. Need my get a wrench and we can just do doot, 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 energy, boop, like so. Like the get a wrench is one of the best wrenches in the entire game, which is really cool. And we can now actually even do conduit it's gonna make so many conduits, but we have the, we, I think we have the vibrant alloy for it. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> okay, we can upgrade them later if we need to, but we have plenty of energy conduits now. We have 200, this should be good. Uh, down by the spawners, I have, 
I've set up the Wither Skeletons with the thing. It's, some of the XP is escaping, but I think it should despawn because the everything from these guys despawns faster from the Restored Sonners, I think. But basically, I set it up in the exact same way I have before. The only th difference is that I have a Redstone Transmitter here, and that is powering... That's, how does that happen? Uh, that is powering these fans over here that I have powered with some conduits around and then I have an absorption hopper here Extracting into the ender chest with a bunch of speed upgrades So it's fast enough to keep up and then another ender energy ender fluid conduit even extracting into the green white green which is up top the um, the, the the liquid XP thing uh, which we can also instead of exporting into this black hole tank we can just export it into this guy, actually. Well, no, you know what? It's it's fine for it to be that. If we need more XP, we can just put it in here if we need to, or we can just make a machine that converts solidified experience to XP by doing that. Uh, but we, when we need XP, I can just grab solidified XP and we should be fine. And I've been doing some transferring of the items over. Uh, I kind of had these guys set up here in a full 16 by, or 16 by 16. Um, <clears throat> it's an eight by eight. Uh, so I had f uh, 16 total destructors and constructors. And then I realized I don't have that many ores and I forgot the shale, which is this guy, uh, which can be processed with a pulverizer as well. So I just put it in here and oh, the importer is not fast enough. So we need speed upgrades. That's why it's processing slow. Go speed upgrades. I think I need three total. Should be fine. Or f four? Possibly four for this guy. Apparently it makes that much. If, or if I clear it out, will three be enough? Yeah, three is just enough. Yep, okay, sweet. One thing that I also changed is I removed the facades from here and we can put different kinds of facades on the things because, or we can even, you know what we could even do? Instead of having the conduits there, we can just uh, have an extract and an insert on different colors because we only need eight different colors. So we can just, uh, well actually we can't because we're extracting in the back to this redstone furnace. Hmm. I mean, I think it's fine. We're gonna see how we design this. If we want to indent anything with chisel and bits, we can do it on the outside, on the entire border, and we can indent it, indent it like uh, like three pixels to or two pixels even on the border, and we can then uh, indent it on this line and that line and that line or whatever if we want to. But I think it should be fine. But basically what I did is the exporters now export all of the different ores because one pulverizer and one restroom furnace wasn't fast enough to process iron and copper and stuff like that. So it is just randomly exporting things into the thing. So iron ore is like backlogging right now. Well, it's not actually. It's being processed in some of the things. But copper is like finishing processing right now. And iron is being processed here and more iron and more iron. And I think eventually it should even out and process everything because... Um, we should be, we should have enough processing power because last time I think we had just three pulverizers and three redstone furnaces and it was fine. And now we have eight of each. So I think it should be good. And here it's still like just slowly processing once ores come in, but it's basically cleared the backlog. So we don't really need four of these. And I'm also processing gold in this one because we need mostly more gold for stuff. So we can just triple it here. And then I have gold and nickel and platinum and iridium. And for platinum, we are pretty much Gucci. We have 50,000 of it. Uh, over here, it's just redstone, the the quartz and uh, black quartz. I think I have just quartz here, which processed. I have the aquamarine, the black quartz, the certus, the charred certus, the coal, which has all been processed, I believe. Uh, cinnabar is just waiting because we process it as we need it over here and uh, it is slowly draining I think but we should we should have a net gain and we also were getting cinnabar in our system so if need be we can just over here extract cinnabar if we need to um, what else that's pretty much it so far the these guys are uh, were basically the four Actually, were these four, 
and uh, when I removed the side ones, I forgot to add a cable on the side here to connect over to here. That's why I have a higher backlog of those because I was just AFK sitting here while I was watching some videos and uh, they didn't process. So they're processing right now. And as you can see, the other ones are basically empty-ish and they just get ores as they get ores. Now to get to the plan for today, I want to automate the thankful dinner and I can use cloches to grow my crops if I want to and then be just done with it and don't have to worry about anything. The problem is that like cranberry seeds, I can only grow in a phytogenic insulator. So I'm like, why not just have phytogenic insulators? They're gonna be faster than cloches. We're not gonna have to put more cloches in to grow stuff and whatever. So I kind of have all the things here that we need. The thing that is really weird, if you look at, for example, apple sapling and look for the uses for the apple sapling, uh, you can see in the sapling infuser, you can get apples and you can get if I look at all the recipes, you can get grape, you can get cashews, persimmon, um, what else? Other other basically things from Pam's Harvest Craft. But if you look for cinnamon, cinnamon, it's only from bonsai trees. And apparently there's a bug with bonsai trees to uh, to give you uh, to crash your world and stuff that I've been warned of. But I it didn't crash when I had them out there before, so I don't know. And if that's the case. The thankful dinner requires um, the sweet potato, sweet potato pie, which is, requires ground cinnamon. And if that's the case, I am not going to put down a bonsai tree. We can look for maybe, but that, that requires a like, top tier blood magic. Because if you grow a cinnamon sapling, you can... Um, I mean, what we can actually try is if it actually works in the phytogenic insulator and it doesn't show up in here. That will be the first thing to try. But yeah, let me make a bunch of phytogenic insulators and prepare the machines that we need to make the flux phyto grow and stuff. Uh, basically for that. So I'll be back once I have those ready. So I'm setting up the machines in an interesting way, I think. I want to have like columns of things making me each of the components for the thankful dinners. Or uh, thankful dinners. There we go. So one of the components is going to be flux phyto grow, which we need to grow other things for the uh, for the components of this. So the next one, for example, is toast. And toast is made by either just taking wheat and crushing it with a sag mill to flour, but that's too easy. Uh, so we're going to take the, the wheat and we can crush it with a pulverizer into this kind of flour. Then we combine it with salt and water and get dough basically. So what I'm gonna do is to have four machines, we have pulverizing wheat into flour. We then have, actually we can do, uh, we can do this. We can take this off or this guy off and we don't need to make the fresh water because we can just directly make it into, uh, we need to make salt. Yeah, we need the, still need the uh, sequential fabricator. Uh, and we need the one with the augment for fluid fabrication. And we can just use, I think, water buckets in the recipe and it should work. And then this one makes the bread. And then the next one, the furnace is going to cook up the toast. I think that should work. Uh, but we're going to see once we set it up. And then the next thing, for example, corn is just corn. And the artichoke slash, it's basically carrots, is just carrots. Uh, we need the tofurkey. So we need the... Uh, cooked tofurkey, we need raw tofurkey, which is firm tofu, bread, and cooking oil. So we need bread again. And we can just either, we can basically take bread out of here because I want to have everything on demand. So the last sequential fabricator is going to have a limiting item filter for everything. So it's going to keep a stack of everything inside. And we can just say the bread from here once it's made. Uh, or yeah, the bread... Yeah, the bread that is made here, or that's going to make dough. And though I need to cook it up twice, so that's going to make bread. Yeah, that's fine. We can make bread here. And then the last one can be the full components of the thing. So we need to uh, cook up everything to the thing. So yeah, <laughs> it's kind of confusing what, the way I'm explaining it. But you know what I mean, uh, kind of. So let's say uh, mashed potatoes. We need butter potatoes. So we need butter, which is heavy cream and salt. And I'm going to start setting up all of those things and actually getting them configured with conduits. So basically, let's say we set up the Flux Phyto Grow. We need an exporter for the 
for the charcoal and then the rest we need an exporter here for niter and rit slag and over here we just need to uh, conduit over the things so let me set this up and we're going to look at it one wall is fully done the left side is automated with the uh, pulverizing of wood. I'm just using dead wood because we're not going to use it for anything and it, we have infinite resources of it anyway. So that makes charcoal, this makes pulverized charcoal, this makes pulverized charcoal, rit slag, and niter. And why is this not exporting uh, import on the left? That might help. Okay. Uh, and then the energetic infuser is energizing the uh, rich phytogrow to flux phytogrow. Then this one makes wheat and I have an augment for monoculture cycles, so it doesn't use the seeds, and also a nullification chamber, so it voids ex excess seeds as we get them. Uh, this one makes flour by pulverizing the wheat. Uh, this one gets just water, and I don't know, why are you not filling up with water? Like, I don't, oh, now it is. Like it, like it needs an update or something. But it's putting salt somewhere still. Don't know where, but okay, uh, I possibly here. Yeah, it's filling. I don't know what, when it runs out of water. It just, just it's weird. Okay, so this one makes salt. This one makes the dough, which we're gonna need. Uh, need dough for other things, I believe. We need it for this. Yeah, for the sweet potato pie. I had it set up with a sag mill making toast directly in four, and we need dough anyway. So, um, that's fine. Uh, then over here, I have a phytogenic insulator doing soybeans, and we then make silken tofu and then firm tofu. And the, the soy milk that is made with, uh, I believe, separating sil silken tofu to firm tofu is then turned into heavy cream, and the heavy cream is combined with salt, makes butter, butter with uh, b baked potatoes, uh, bah, bah. Uh, makes butter potatoes, and the baked potatoes are made here with the phytogenic insulator insulating the the potatoes and we need a nullification augment because eventually it's gonna do the thing. Uh, I made a lava fabricator here and I just have some buckets inside just so I can grab this and then make the nullification augments because that's the thing. Like so, grab one of you out and give you this and that eventually should void the poisonous potatoes. Uh, so that's it. Basically, I'm doing everything from behind the scenes and I actually don't need this anymore because I had it. Actually, I do need it because of this guy. This one makes uh, the soybeans in the centrifugal separator make grain bait and we don't really need the grain bait for anything. So we can just do the same thing I did before. We can just do that. We can disable this extract put insert on red, extract on red, and then the insert, I had a filter with grain and seeds, and we don't need seeds anymore, so we can just insert, always active, and that should be good. Uh, so basically, I have almost the mashed potatoes, we just need salt and butter. I have the corn pretty much easily set up, I have the carrots pretty much easily set up, I have toast almost set up, because we all need, need to do is extract the dough into two furnaces to get the the toast, then we need cranberry jelly, which is just sugar, which we can also get. Let's do this, Let's. we can, we need a phytogenic insulator for cranberries, then we need one for things. I'm trying to keep the phytogenic insulators up top, even though I have a redstone furnace here, but you know, just to try and keep a little bit of consistency. So we can do that, 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 that. And we're gonna grab some sugar cane, like so. I also need to run conduits all the way back here and then cranberry seeds and do all of that to get the cranberry jelly. I set up the cranberry jelly here with cranberries being put in the phytogenic insulator, sugar cane making sugar and it's just filling this entire thing up. I don't really care because it's only sugar that's going or sugar cane that goes in here. And this guy gets a stack of sugar and a stack of cranberries with a limited item filter in the back here. The problem that I ran into, as I explained before, I am trying to make the sweet potato pie, which is the from the thankful dinner. Thankful dinner. The sweet potato pie requires ground cinnamon, and that's annoying because it can only be made in the bonsai pots, and everything else, like all the other nuts, are made in a phytogenic insulator, and I think they just like missed the recipe. Uh, so basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this on camera, we're gonna take this phytogenic insulator out. Uh, the cinnamon, we're gonna do this, hold on. It 
cheat mode and we're gonna grab cinnamon cinnamon we're gonna grab a stack or just one we just, we only need one uh for now and we're gonna put it in here for now then we're gonna grab a drawer just a basic one and then we're gonna go with uh the storage upgrade there is a creative storage upgrade is there not the do they not have the vending oh they do okay it's just unlimited item withdrawal i'm gonna take one of these and put it in here and do cinnamon like so and we're gonna grab a drawer key put that in there and grab a chest transporter and we're gonna put this somewhere here in the back and it's gonna make cinnamon infinitely because I, w I would have the bonsai pots, but if there is a chance that it could crash my world, I'd rather not take that chance and just have this. And I will not be taking this out and putting it into any other drawer if I need any item or whatever. That's not the point of this. The point of this is that cinnamon doesn't work with the phytogenic insulator and it should. So I'm gonna put it here. We can extract it into a I mean here uh, into a sequential fabricator and make the or actually into a pulverizer to make the ground cinnamon so we can grab a pulverizer to have one extra I do not pulverizer like so and we can put it here because I have like the redstone furnace there so we can put a pulverizer there it's fine do augments and give you power-ups thingies and then in the back, let's do in and out. Food cube. I hate it how um, this ender pickaxe, sometimes it teleports you weird and it's super annoying. We're gonna grab a cinnamon. This has, oh yeah, it has a filter. It's, yeah, it's fine, we can do that and that. And then this guy is getting cinnamon. It's not because I don't have an extract here. Extract always active. Now you're getting cinnamon, nice. The grain bait is gonna be a problem, so we can grab another one of the nullification thingies. Uh, it puts it directly into my offhand, which is kind of annoying. Oh, I have a nullification upgrade, and I don't need the mixing bowl. My inventory is just a mess right now. So we can, we can put this nullification upgrade in here, and it should be fine, like so. Uh, I don't need the cinnamon in my in my thing. Can take that and that. Did I toss it in the trash can? No, I tossed. Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, so that makes ground cinnamon for us, and this is gonna make the sweet the sweet potato. Then for the rest of the thankful dinner or the sweet potato pie, we need dough, which we are making. We can just extract it from there. We need marshmallows, which is tofu eggs, sugar, which we're making, and water buckets, which we can put in the sequential fabricator. So let's make, let's grab one of the fabricators and put it here and here, and do augments. Uh, this guy's gonna need water and three upgrades. This one's gonna just get four upgrades. And you are gonna receive for the tofu egg. Tofu egg, you need firm tofu and dandelion yellow. So we need to automate dandelion. My brain is slowly melting with this, but I have a few more things set up. I move the uh, Flux Phyto Grow production and I have it exporting into this ender chest. I have it set for uh, 64 only, but I have this rest in the system and it's gonna get used up as we make more stuff. Um, I can possibly move that conduit and just set up, uh, bu 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 it's extract on green. I can just set up an insert filter on the trash can and I'm trying basically to have it so I don't have conduits here in the cor in the sides and I have free reign of chisel and bitsing and I might do that as well with the ore processing eventually once we get to it. But we have exporters and importers and we can solve that differently if we want to. Uh, but I don't, I'm not there yet and it's it's time to do this to the end basically. So uh, where I left off was we had this, this is cranberry. We have um, this guy making avocados and avocados are being turned into cooking oil. The cooking oil is combined with bread and firm tofu to make raw tofurkey, which is cooked into cooked tofurkey. 
Uh, over here we have uh, sweet potatoes, which and the cinnabon, uh, cinnabon, cinnamon being pulverized. We have dandelion yellows being made with the sunflowers over here. Uh, we have tofu eggs with firm tofu and dandelions. Then we have marshmallows with the tofu egg and the sugar. And bread is being toasted here, and wheat is being toasted into bread here. And for some reason, the wheat isn't going into the thing because it's possibly uh, this is insert for dough. Why are you not, um, like, why does salt stop working? Like, I have this, I even set up this phantom face, pushing water into this guy. And apparently until I, unless I click and change, like, this guy, it, it just needs an update to get water, which is super strange. And I'm not really getting why it's not getting water. Um... Uh, I could just try breaking and replacing it and setting up the recipe again. But for some reason, just because it needs just water to make salt, it's really weird. You need a pot and a water bucket. Like it, it uses up water so fast that apparently it forgets the recipe or something weird. Uh, but that's really dumb. Um, so that, that's kind of a bit, bit problematic thing. So we might go around and try and solve it in a different way, maybe. I don't know. Maybe have a separate sink specifically for this guy, just so it can... Or maybe even have another sink. Let's try that. Uh, do I have any more sinks in here? I do not. Uh, let's do sink. Uh, I need to craft it in here. See if adding two more sinks will help. Do this. Extract always active. Extract always active. You get enough water now? Still, I mean, the conduit has an 800 limit on that. So, hmm. Because for water... I mean, I could have something making water buckets, but we have... Uh, for infinite water sources, I, I think it's just... I mean, we could use a water condensator. But I think the limiting factor here is the conduit, because it can only do 800. And I don't know why that's limited to that little. Because if you look at... Uh, I don't have a fluid conduit. Conduit. If you look at these guys, I can actually craft a couple. Uh, it says max extract 200 millibuckets a tick and max input output 800 millibuckets a tick and it allows multiple item, multiple fluids and instant fluid teleportation. So I don't know why it's struggling to make salt every so often. I'll, 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 look at, I'll look at that and see if I can sort it out somehow. I believe I have everything set up. I have also moved around some machines so it looks a bit nicer. It's all messed up the way it works because everything is on extract and everything is on insert with filters. So everything goes to its corresponding place that it needs to go. The slight problem that we might have is getting enough of this heavy cream. We're going to see if we get enough soil milk once we make, once we start making stuff and for thankful dinners. So we're going to see what we start running out of and we can add machines either on this side to create more more of the X item or whatever. So over here in the back, I have a configured filter for everything. And we're gonna say uh, a cutting board plus some toast. I wanna look, I wanna make it the way the recipe is. So carrots, toast, uh, corn I believe goes up here. Nope, goes down here. Then we have cranberry jelly in the middle the tofurkey up there, the mashed potatoes up here, and the sweet potato pies over here. And I messed up the cutting board. Like so. We need a conduit for power and a flux point. The last flux point that I have. I'm going to set that here. Conduit there. Put it on solar power. Like so. Why is it... Why is you no connect? Now it's connecting. Okay, sweet. Um, and the recipe disappeared because we looked out of the thing before configuring the recipe. So turkey, mashed potatoes, sweet potato pie, corn, cranberry jelly, carrot, and that, that, that. What am I missing? 
Toast. Okay. It's going to make the first stack of thankful dinners. And then if we set this ender chest to extract always active, and that guy is on insert. Why are you not extracting? Because this guy is not configured properly. In and out. Okay. And once like it, it transfers all of the items over, it should be making more thankful dinners. And we can say extract on red in the back and then insert on red over here. And we can say extract always active and we should be getting thankful dinners. Oh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I need to do that. No, not the heavy, stop putting in heavy cream. Okay, stop. <laughs> oh, it's putting in so many things. Okay, corn, heavy cream. And cutting board. And as soon as it gets the turkey, it should start making the things. And I need to just add, uh, is this keeping up? I think this is keeping up. So we can do a conduit or speed upgrade, speed upgrade onto here on the extract. So this is gonna throw full stacks in, in at a time. And it's full on thankful dinners right now. So we can just say extract always active. Yeah, that, that was the one and insert. And now we have automatic thankful dinners for days. We also might want to add a few speed upgrades over here. And we're running out of something, corn. Because everything is not working and it's gonna start draining off of things. And I believe corn is in here. Yeah, corn is supremely slow in these, in this. That's okay. Uh, hopefully salt is, is good now. Yeah, it's making because I, I changed the thing over here in the back. Uh, I have a specific sink for salt and for the dough. So it has its own 200 millibuckets per second or 800, I think, per tick even of water. So it shouldn't run out of water now. It should be good. But we have thankful dinners and we can take up oh, stack and then look at our nutrition. Hundred percent. Done. Sweet. Toss everything in, grab another stack. And this should be automated, fully working, making all the things forever and ever. Uh and I will put a thankful dinner in here, even though they're on display down there. I won't allow to put it in there. But that's a free wall for just thankful dinners. Uh which is neat. I could do possibly a screen and maybe do something in that sense. And we also get, oh yeah, we get all this, all the effects. Does this give me the effects or is it just refreshing from the nutrition? But we get haste three now <laughs> and toughness, I believe is the one that's refreshing and resistance and strength. I don't know where, where we got that from. Probably from eating that much thankful dinners, but that's neat. So I think this is going to be it for today. We automated thankful dinners in two walls, kind of three, uh, and that's really neat. So with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. I am hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Consider subscribing to see new videos. Also remember, if you want, to support me on Patreon to play with the server on me. Server on me. With me on a server. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.